I said, Boardwalk Burgers, more like board. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the official podcast. My name is Andrew. I'm an honorary bachelorette degree in uh, women's psychological studies and fine painting. Joining us is the usual crew of Charlie, who is a professional jigsaw puzzle solver. Kaya. Uh, silly putty architect. Okay, thank you. Actually, I forgot you switched jobs a couple days ago. And finally, uh, Jackson. Currently naked. That has... <laughs> That is a career now, actually. Jackson surprisingly has a comfy living from not wearing clothing. And we are the official podcast, and now we're going to talk about things. Here we go. So who bought some subjects, topics, <laughs> since we don't have a guest to rely on? <laughs> it's so weird to just be talking to you all now. Yeah, yeah. I, I quit. It's I want guests. <laughs> weird. <laughs> all right. Well, I mean, Alex is in the... Alex is in the call, his microphone's just not working, and I don't know if he'll get it fixed before the show ends. Kaya and Jackson, mm. tell us something about Australia and Christmas Island that we might not think or know about offhand that could be considered, like, interesting or weird. Hmm. Like, not not like, oh, did you know that, you know, there's no Publix in, in <coughs> Australia? Like, no, like, no something, something no we wouldn't think about. Well, Publix is the greatest supermarket of all time. You can ask Charlie. It's a pretty solid supermarket. It's a real Wait, shame you guys don't have it. Publix? Yeah, Publix. Mm. P-U-B-L-I-X. It's a southeastern grocery store chain and just... Mm, it is It is some good shit. If any Publix reps are watching this, we have some advertisement <laughs> slots available it, for purchase. It, if William Publix is listening to this podcast... Actually, have you learned about Publix at all, Charlie? The the dude who actually started it, he's apparently... I might be wrong and misremembering, but he's apparently like a super Christian and had was basically a, a Fred Rogers kind of guy. I did know that because you're not allowed to have a beard if, if you work at Publix because yeah. it's viewed as like a satanic, but you can have a mustache. Yeah, and he had these like really weird rules on stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, yeah, but besides that... So, boys, tell us about how you don't have Publix in your respective countries. Well, I don't. That's, that's just simply a shame. I mean, you know, as you know, here in Christmas Islands, I live without want. I mean, I just, it's, everything is here right under my fingertips. <laughs> and it's an amazing I thought you were going to say without electricity. <laughs> uh, no, that's just occasionally. <laughs> so, Jackson. Yeah. You said you Can had you an interesting that, thing Jackson? about Australian. That What'd people don't think about. Yeah, just replace everything I said with like a two-minute beep. <laughs> That's not a bad idea, actually. Yeah. <laughs> just, just start it with. Well, the thing about Turkey is, and then just <laughs> beeps. Just, yeah, <laughs> just only leaving the laughter and the and and the and all that stuff. I would absolutely say do that, Jackson. I'll, I'll probably have to bleep mine as well because mine's quite a disgraceful period of Australian history as well. Yeah, but oh. Aussies are too drunk to give a shit. <laughs> yeah, that's too true. drunk to give a shit about human rights, I guess. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I, no one, no one here knows about the Great Emu War of Australia, do they? No. I've heard oh, of it, man. but I don't know the details. <laughs> Is that what you call the indigenous to people? Me that's night. really hurtful. <laughs> oh, <Jesus Christ. laughs> no, it was like, like you know what emus are. Obviously, you have emus over in. Mm. America, don't you? No, we don't, but we have books in America, so, you know, we can put two and two together. <laughs> okay, good. Well, emus, like, there was this massive insurgency of emus back in, like, I want to say it was, like, 1930. <laughs> like, they, they, they formed a coalition, and they, uh, it was, like, D-Day all over again. Basically, they, no, it was just, like, a large flock of them in the middle of Australia, and, uh... <laughs> How large of a flock are we talking that you had to go to war? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> this is like a middle I earth story <laughs> the, <laughs> the, 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 the evil from the center of the world is coming hobbits <laughs> suddenly they just appear we must launch was it like the first. arrival <laughs> how does this happen <laughs> I I, they, I don't think they were causing any. They might have been causing issues for like farmers out in the in the desert, but I don't think it, that was the emu's fault really. Um, like <laughs> I think I think the numbers were close to like sixty thousand. Oh my emus. god! 
Wow. I think over a six month period. Anyway, Charlie, um, Zer- hang on. So Jack. the government. So yeah. so wait, did like a powerful warrior give seven rings to the Australians to fight them, and then like nine to the dwarves? <laughs> yeah, from, it, from each state of Australia, one person got a ring and was sent out into the desert. <laughs> wait, is Charlie there or not? What? Where were you? You didn't say anything. I I was. I said I said something about he, Sauron. He did. He we did. talked. Well, over your him. mic was muted. Yeah. Then don't try to pass it off like it was nothing. Live no. in your shame. Right. Can, can I can I tell my story? Yes. Well, it's not a story. <laughs> tell us it's about fucking happy hobbit <laughs> or whatever. So, like, the government decided that the best thing to do would be to send out our like main army force into the desert to fight these emus. <laughs> the best and the deadly, deadly one-on-one combat. And this was this was 1934, so uh, it was it was in between the world wars, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, and, oh, yeah. In Australia, with um, wee so so we were, we were f- we were feeling a bit aggressive, and we wanted to fight. So we picked <laughs> our national mascot <laughs> to go out into the, into the desert. You know, I'm message. not I'm not liking that Hitler guy too much rising up in Germany. But fuck these emus. Uh, but the the really depressing thing about this was was that the emus actually won. won <laughs> that <the> you won. like. <laughs> 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 it was too what? much for our force, our armed forces to uh, combat. We we didn't really what have the, the tactics. Did, how what, did you what the fuck, fuck did you up? fight them? Yeah, what did you use? Like stones and slingshots? No, no, no. We used f- uh, firearms. They they were just there were too many of them, Charlie. They did you like shoot one in the head and it rose back up and charged you? Like what happened? <laughs> Zombie emus. Uh, are emus we, like the Hydra? They, do they grow like two yeah. heads if you shoot them or something? Little did Australia know emus are immortal. Like, what the fuck? Historians agree that it was just because we had spent most of our forces fighting the aboriginals, so we were a bit low on strength. (laughs) You need a single gun and a man with decent (laughs) aim to win this war, 60,000 emus, though. Think of that. Yeah, that's a lot of bullets. That's a lot of bullets. (sighs) That's a lot of emus. I mean, even if you you run out of bullets, like, a blunt object could still do the job. Really? Beat them with the gun! It's saving, (laughs) saving money! Uh, I, I, I distinctly remember reading that I uh, like the one of the premiers of one of our states uh, like issued a statement after after one of the initial operations stating that three hundred emus had been killed in action. <laughs> what, I, how, I, many, I, how many soldiers were lost in this war? I, 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 there were no survivors, Charlie. There were <laughs> one, one. He got sick halfway through the journey and died of heat stroke. Wow. So you, I assume you now pay reparations to the emus or something? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently it took ten rounds per confirmed kill. Oh my oh god. My god. <laughs> emus what? are the tanks of the wildlife. <laughs> Jesus. You're just making shit up. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I don't believe that one at all unless they were wearing body armor. Who financed I, 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 this well, rebellion? Right. Oh my god. Like, uh, what was it? It was like, I think there were 60,000... 60,000 emus, maybe, around that number to begin with. That's, like, what we were trying to quell, I guess. Stop from uprising. And on uh, when, when, the, when the war was declared a failure, uh, I think we had killed 980-something. <laughs> I thought you were going to say more. Be like, there yeah. were 75,000 emus. They multiplied too <laughs> yeah. fast. Probably. I'll, I'll call that They failure, spread yeah. like a virus. I wouldn't put them past them. They're, they're vicious. Well, what ha- what happened? So yeah, what, what, what happened? Is it still I wasn't a problem? There. This was like eighty years ago. Let oh, me ask no. you a quick yeah. question then. So y- you had you had sixty thousand emus to kill, right? And you made a report where the confirmed kill was ten bullets. Did they not realize? Oh God, we're gonna need six million bullets to win. Well, I think how? that's why it was no. Like, we la- decided no. How dangerous can an emu be? Why can you not just strangle it to death? No, did like, one of these, beat did one of the emus like steal a gun and you got scared and ran away? It's time consuming to strangle sixty thousand emus. No, I, my point is like, why not just collect them to death with an axe or something? Why well, that's did you what have I said, to fight like, them with? Get big hands, Henry. Them. He's the best strangler for miles. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have the answers what, for you, Kyle. I wasn't there. What eventually happened, though? 60,000 emus left unchecked does sound like quite a catastrophe, <laughs> especially if a God. war was declared. <laughs> were they like their morale. Where, were they, like, moving like a tidal wave? Like, not even walking? They were rolling over each other like the ocean at some point? I don't know. 60,000 sounds like a lot, but I know we've got 25... I think it's 25 million kangaroos. So well, that's all over the country, though. This was you said that this <laughs> that's, was that's uh, game over. <laughs> they're fine, though. They're part of the UN. 
<laughs> they're protected. They've got they've got a uh, NATO on their side. Yeah, but I think that's I think that's uh, our most bizarre <laughs> like war or fight. Yeah, golly, that's fucked up. <laughs> that is fucked up. That's a sad, that's the, a sad the, wiki- tale. It's the Wikipedia says the participants were the emus and <laughs> Sir George Pierce. <laughs> <laughs> how how shitty of a general do you have to be to have a mark losing against emus on your fucking military record? Oh Christ! Oh, thank oh, you, God, you lost. George. Thank you fucking lost. Jesus Christ! I can just imagine this whole flotilla of zeppelins fighting these emus and losing. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my Going god. down in flames. Can someone please make a mod and patch him into Battlefield 1 or something? <laughs> the great Dude, that'd be war. amazing. Holy fuck. I'd only play Battlefield 1 and you could have emu mounts. Oh, you befriend uh, them. I'd make a great DLC. It would, actually, it would. and it's historically accurate. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't want to relive it. I don't want to relive it. <laughs> Jackson has, like, ingrained cultural PTSD. <laughs> It's in his fucking DNA. Oh, really? <laughs> it's it's, it's just something primal triggers in him, and he starts seizing out when he goes to the zoo. Uh, I just I saw a picture of uh, them. They are quite intimidating. It's like a road full of the emus, like charging. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! I don't. I mean, the, yeah, oh, it's man. like man. Someone in Hollywood must have at least considered making like Planet of the Emus. God, that that I love wow. how there's a page the war first attempt second attempt <laughs> broken Maybe, up into stages and war is assault. parentheses. Yeah, let's keep that in mind. Oh man, participants emus. <laughs> oh, there's a picture of an emu in a helmet. That's adorable. Oh, oh man. Uh. That's they were amazing. they were resourceful. Yeah, it was. God, look at Sir George Pierce. He deserved to lose that war. Yeah, he wasn't ready. Yeah, oh he man, look he, he looks he looks too cocksure. Aftermath. He didn't take oh. it. Didn't take it seriously. Holy shit! Oh uh. my god. <laughs> I want to I want to read this direct quote from uh, Dominic Servanty, apparently one of the observers of the event. The machine gunner's <clears throat> dream of point blank fire into serrated masses of emus were soon dissipated. The emu command had apparently ordered guerrilla tactics, and its unwieldy army soon split up into innumerable small units that made use of the military equipment uneconomic. A crestfallen field force therefore withdrew from the combat area after about a month. So, they were shooting at them so hard and realized nothing was happening that they gave up. (laughs) <laughs> he got outplayed by emus. This is amazing. They got fucking juked by a mass of 60,000 birds. <laughs> <laughs> what about America? Uh, what, what things would we not know about America? Nothing's gonna oh, top this, Jackson. No, yeah, not at all. It'd be hard. Charlie, can you think of something specific to Florida? Because Florida's like, got a lot of weird shit that happened. Yeah, Florida has some weird shit, but I don't know about yeah. any like small scale wars. Yeah, that's the problem. Oh, we hung an elephant once. <clears throat> oh yeah, we did hang an elephant. Yeah, but so that, there, that's back just in more the like uh, yeah, but like back in the 1910s, <sighs> there was a circus elephant, and apparently it was like real uppity, and it would uh, throw temper tantrums and basically just fuck with shit, and it was just really bad, and it eventually killed a couple people. So, the uh, people who ran the circus were kind of like, all right, we gotta, we gotta get rid of this elephant, what do we do? So, they decided the best way to do this would be to hold a mock trial for the elephant, and they found it guilty of murder, and then they went, all right, now what? And they decided to kill the elephant by hanging it. So they took it to a train yard and tied a chain around its neck and hung it with an industrial crane and sold tickets for people to watch. Yeah, cool. I actually read that story the other day. I think the trainer was untrained himself. That's why you got his head stomped on. There was a lot. There was a lot wrong with that story. The elephant wasn't properly represented in the court either. There was a whole lot of controversy. They were charging him fifty thousand (laughs) dollars a month. (laughs) They were like, "He's in conspiracy with the emus." No, if only he had his guerrilla army. If only he used guerrilla tactics. 
Americans. <coughs> but then they'd have to call in the guerrilla force, and those are all the way in Africa. Oh, man. God, I'm still not over the emus. <laughs> Dude, fucking emu war. Charlie, you, you lay a story. That was the first one I thought of. I don't. I can't think of anything, Ugh. especially Florida specific. We don't really do anything other than just have sex with our parents and stuff, and have bath salts. And bath salts, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I actually um, did read a story though about a couple that was having sex in their jeep, and then they just crashed and died in a small pond. Well, that's tragic. How do you crash into a small yeah. pond? That doesn't exactly. Why do you read know. things like this? It was I. I browsed the subreddit Florida Man, and it was about like this man and his wife who were having sex in their car while driving at high speeds and just went off the rails into a pond. It, uh, that sounds kind of cool. I mean, that's one way to go out. Yeah, really. I'd I'd like to be banging while I die. Yeah, but not drowning, presumably. Can you imagine the drowning fear erection puss. you would have at that point? Actually, like, I might have gotten adrenaline. This. I think I got the story wrong. That might not be entirely accurate because I'm pretty sure their kids were in the car and it might have been their kids that died instead of them. <laughs> their kids were, were the ones having kids. sex. <laughs> I'm actually going to look that up. How do you think of a pedophile? detail like that? Yeah, 20 yeah, minutes. It's been a long time since I read that story. That's still sad, though. It is sad. That's they, the only story I can think of. Neither climax. It'd be like, all yeah. build up, then death. <laughs> <laughs> just like the story uh who let's say that you had to have somebody <coughs> found it charlie go ahead uh, there was no kids in the car i got it confused with another story it was just the guy and girl were fucking while they were drunk and speeding and they crashed into a canal and the woman died oh then he, she deserved it the man lived to fuck know. another day in jail. <laughs> He's like, this time I'll get it right. Uh, okay, so next next topic then. So, if you had to think of someone to replace you in your everyday life. So this person had to assume everything that you do. Like, take over your whole identity, your personality. They, You gave them like a textbook <laughs> and went, you're me now. Who would it be? But the catch is, they have to share your first name to make it less awkward. Who would you nominate? Okay. Uh I mean, I don't really think there's a whole lot of people that you would know called Kaya. I was gonna, well, I was gonna say for you, I don't know how common of a name Kaya is in Turkey. Not at all. Oh uh, well, then you can. I've never met a single person who has the same name. I, there is a comedian in Germany called Kaya Yanash who is also Turkish, but that's about it. Looks like so you I have your only representative. Only option. <laughs> yep. Good choice. I was gonna choose him myself. Yeah, same. <laughs> Best comedian. Yeah, no. You'll have to pick Charles Manson. Damn. My Damn. Only option. Who, who can I pick, Kaya? What's your name? Jackson. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't fucking know. I don't know any people who start with Jackson. I know Jax. It's usually a last name. But not Jackson. Wait, yeah. you, you know Jack? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And Jackson's usually a last name. There are a lot of last name Jacksons. Who would I be, Kaya? Uh, I have no idea. Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> not not a whole lot of famous people called Andrew. I was going to go Jackson. with Andrew WK. I don't know who that is. Oh, really? Neither do I. Neither. Really? Huh. All right, I'll, I'll go with Andrew Jackson. Jackson will share. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank Good you question, for remembering my name. <laughs> that was me. Oh, yeah. All right, we can cut that whole section. So how about YouTube TV? What is that? Thank huh? you. Good topic. It's a... Uh, Network TV's last YouTube is effort. trying to replace network TV, but uh, they're what probably they? going to fail because they... Because look it up, YouTube. Google just announced it like 10 minutes ago, which is why you're hearing about it first here on the official podcast two days later. <laughs> what they're basically going to do is take all the TV channels like NBC, ABC, and blah, 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 and they're going to give you a subscription and then you can stream them online. That's basically why it. Why in the ever-loving would shit would you ever do that if your primary income is or in source is already internet entertainment? I don't know. I think it's the last attempt of network TV to stay alive or relevant. I do not know who would pay thirty-five dollars a month no, to stream a TV oh channel. God, it's just it's just a, already bad enough. It's the a money grab. They're just bad. trying to get. They're just trying to get in as many markets as possible. They're they're doing fine on their like network television. They're still getting no, they're consistent. Not. 
I think no, most. they're not, dude. Jackson is, only, or yeah. Jackson. Network television's been declining for the past, like, seven years. Yeah, the like, only, their profits have been they're eating tanking. Ass. The only profits they make is off sporting events. Yeah, which oh, is, wow. the, understandably, like, the only reason I can see people actually wanting cable. Other than that, I don't know why anyone still has cable anymore. Not even that. I mean, even the sporting fucking... Uh, I thought they couldn't live stream sports because of, like, legal shit or something. The only thing today keeping them alive is good shows. Like Game of Thrones and shit, that's not on Netflix. Well, no, even then, that, like, HBO Go and streamed. shit <clears throat> yeah. is, yeah, streamed. Like, I can't think of a single reason to want I TV besides you, sports. I guess we also have to consider all the lowly masses of people who watch all the Jersey Shore kind of shit. Teen Mom, you know? I guess do people still watch those this. things? Yeah, actually, you'd be I surprised. I guess they do. I mean, why else would it exist? Do, because I, it's I, the... Fuck, I don't know. I, I, mean, every, I feel like that, that was just, like, the last di uh, last batch of people that were watching those. Like, they grew up now, and now they're smart enough to just watch everything online. What, what I they mean, just, they're not they smart enough, by they're well, stupid, and they grew up and they had four children at 19 years old, and now those kids are watching the next season of The Apprentice. Well, what you also gotta That's remember TV still is um, most of the old people still do it, and they, yeah. they are completely content with just, like, putting on reruns of the same shit, or things mm. of that nature. Hmm. So they're still gonna pay for it. They're like, I don't want the internet. It's too new fashion. So they just shell out their money to watch commercials. <clears throat> that, oh, well, that's another yeah. thing. I mean, this is still gonna have commercials, presumably. Oh, fuck off! Well, what What's the it. point? Yeah, no. I, uh, how else would you do it, though? How else would you take, say, fucking CNN and put it online streams, but without the ads? You yeah, you're already paying for the, the subscription. So anyhow. Uh, <laughs> Kaya, would you like to share your rant about the grocery store? Yeah, it's just uh, there's a lot of grocery stores around where I live, which you know means usually I just take the one that's the cheapest. And I, I I'm a guy. I'm not fat, but I really like my uh, junk food. I love it. I love chips. I love cola. I love just all that stuff. And this market that I usually frequent hired this new fucking cashier, who's just the most golem-looking, disgusting, putrid piece of shit of a human. <laughs> He's so fucking disgusting. Every time I'm at the checkout, I have, his hands are the single most disgusting thing I've seen in my entire life. Ugh. I've never before felt like I had to wash my credit card after <laughs> someone had touched it. His hands, they're like tiny, they're small, but they're meaty. And they're all cracked and they're dirty and they just look so fucking dry. He looks like he's a like he spent the last 10 years on the fucking street and used his own hand as an ashtray. It's so disgusting, and this fucking piece of shit grabbed my packet of jet, uh, chips and just squeezes it <laughs> while he's scanning the fucking barcode. <laughs> Did he, it. like, rip it over the counter and just destroy it? Scans each chip well, individually. No, but I guess he's too <laughs> Takes much one a as a fucking... bite. No, no, God, I that would have been even better. Fuck, he just squeezed the package just <laughs> crumbling all the shit inside <laughs> it made me so fucking internally furious but it's yeah. also not something to make a fucking scene about so i just took the other way out and took a new package and went <laughs> out but fuck it made me so angry in the moment that this goddamn little mongol he's like four feet two uh, it made me so angry that he could not just imagine how normal people live and eat and what their <laughs> desires and hopes and dreams are to know that you don't just fucking squeeze a, a, a fucking bag of chips i'm gonna feel kind of really bad so and you're gonna feel really man, bad when we find out that he's an a hundred dollar patreon supporter of ours <laughs> no i don't think he can even read or write or breathe properly without assistance but that's fine that's what he's the official crazy. podcast is for He's going to be listening to this newest episode, hovering over that $50,000 donation incentive, and that's what makes him cancel it. <laughs> <laughs> I'd take it as long as he fucking quits his job, because he, he's the only reason I don't go to that market anymore. I go he, to the uh, fucking more expensive place. I he hate just that, keeps man. thinking, he's him. like, man, Kai is so cute, I, I think he likes me. I walk in front of it, and I... I look in the through the windows to see if he's there at the cash register, and then I just keep walking if he is, and I just buy my shit from someplace else. I hate him so much. God is it, damn. Is it just his hands that are fucked up, or? Yeah, I mean, yeah, he, he looks weird. I mean, like I said, he looks like the hunchback from 300, but his hands are honestly so disgusting. There's no excuse for that either. It's You cannot tell me you're too stupid or too poor to even if just fucking i'd prefer he rubbed just vegetable oil on his hands <laughs> vegetable so dry and cracked it's disgusting jesus like christ it looks like he uses like shed snake skin as gloves 
It's fucking gross. How, how old, you should, how uh, old you look? I don't know, fucking like 30, 40. Oh, okay, yeah. What you should do is get some, like, aloe when you're checking out next time, and when he scans it, be like, oh, no, that's for you. <laughs> or just, I don't want to make the fucking conversation with him, Andrew. I legit, I felt disgusted just touching the money he touched. It's gross. <laughs> it's fucking gross. <laughs> I get honestly upset. I get irrationally upset at certain things. This is, this is one of them. I have stupid pet peeves, but damn do I get just get angry at him. What are, what are some not- of your other pet peeves? Chewing noises. Oh, yeah, I really well, want to just run. Uh, I I think if normal. someone makes chewing noises, they really need to be fucking strapped to a chair and waterboarded or something. Charlie, what were you gonna say? You've been trying to cut in for four times now. I've watched. You've watched. Yeah, I watched Skype, and your little box flips <clears throat> up. Oh well, no, I, I was just gonna say something. To the last thing he said. And, Go ahead. Well, I mean, I forgot it now. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie's like a two-year-old with that memory there. <laughs> Sometimes when I leave the room, Charlie goes, oh my god, Andrew left. And then I walk back in, and he's like, I thought you were gone forever. <laughs> it's a new face. Uh, okay, so then Pet Peeves. That's Kaya. You chew. You hate chewing shit. Jackson, Charlie. Okay, that's not any- fair. I, I, I'm just trying to make myself look better than I am. I hate a lot of shit. There, I said it. Red I them off. Most things. Yeah. Red them off. No, Come on, give us a good one. Give us an interesting one. Give us a weird one that you have no reason to hate. A weird one I have no reason to see, no, but in my head I rationalize every hatred that I have. Give us a really Um, specific one, though. Like, do you hate people who, like, park on Tuesdays? Like, what? No, but I don't know. I just hate stuff everyone hates just more. (laughs) It turns into a major psychotic hatred inside of me it's a miracle i haven't shot up my school Jeez. i remember <laughs> good god all that yeah, no no yeah okay <laughs> i'm well adjusted and nice then, actually you know what i'm gonna do the opposite you guys are trying to goad me into just making myself making an ass out of myself i have since sean uh sh- yeah sean was on last time right uh jack septicai mm-hmm. yeah thank you again sean yeah. now unfortunately sean was having uh he was busy having a good time on the podcast so he didn't have any time left to be offended but thank god all the heroes in the comment section took it upon themselves to be offended on his behalf and get pissed <laughs> off at me so in an effort to make myself look like a nicer guy i'm going to mention i'm going i'm introducing a new corner kaya's hey stuff no I like choose corner. something else corners is jackson's Make it an octagon. No, I don't care. Well, his closet. Kaya's closet. I'm (laughs) co-opting one one of your corners. Kaya's bomb shelter. (laughs) No, stuff I like. I'm going to men each week. I'm going to mention one thing I like. I like this. Yeah, that's that's nice. Yeah, I like. (laughs) He can't. He can't say anything. (laughs) (laughs) That concludes the the Kaya's corner forever. Let me think. Hang on. No. (laughs) No, because I want it to be genuine and. Yeah. Okay, I've been looking into some uh, music production software. I like FL Studio. I think it's nice. It has a lot of stu- uh, features there. Okay. Something okay. I like. It's one thing I like. FL Studio, if you're watching, you're more than welcome to advertise. Yeah, do you, do you want to act- Do you want to give them a product review? Motherfucker, their manual is so stupid. It has little jokes in <laughs> it. <laughs> <and> <laughs> hey, we're this back! Other way. Way. <laughs> Here it is! It's so we knew you couldn't though. pretend. Because it, it goes like, oh, if you want this feature, you have to turn this knob, and then, oh, by the way, this will consume a little bit more of your computer's power, and we're really sorry about the polar bears, but sometimes some species have to die for good music, right? Ha ha ha. And this is in the actual fucking manual, and they wonder why no one takes them seriously. Your fucking opening logo is a mango, or whatever the fuck it is. So do you, well, like you dislike them? I think it's a carrot. Fucking goddamn. Well, yeah. So oh, Kaya, yeah, well, I, let me I get like this it. straight. Eight out of you 10. bring it. You mm. bring. Holy shit! What the fuck? What? Whoa! Skype is going absolutely. Wow! My computer had a seizure for a second. Um, so Kaya, <clears> let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. You mm. bring us an octagon in which you explain something you like, and then for three times the amount of time you say you like it, you shit on it. Oh, you just shit on a component I like of it. This. He okay, do, he doesn't like the guy who made that. Here's how I see it. Here's how I see it. It's it's kind of difficult to... I really like people who make music like that whole business. I think it's really interesting. Which is not to imply that I have even the fucking modicum of a skill to even dip my toe in it. I'm an unskilled loser. But 
in terms of wanting to learn it, I thought it was a nice hobby. So I read some of the manuals, and FL Studio is by far the, I'd say, like, feature richest and most comfortable to use for me with a nice pricing model. So there, satisfied, Andrew? I said something nice. And we're I'll not even it. sponsored by them. I'll take it. I hate it less than the others, so how about that? <laughs> it's There's not that I like it, it's that I hate Java. it We don't fucking write music production software in Java, come on. You like Java? No, I don't like Java. That's my point. <laughs> Just bait him into saying it's all these different stupid. things he doesn't like. Yeah, right. <laughs> Dude, stop it. <laughs> good God. I, li- I like things, please believe me. There's some good stuff out there. Jackson, do you have any uh. weird pet peeves? We've lost Jackson. No, 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 I just I muted the microphone while there was a <laughs> truck driving by. Um, he was too distraught hearing the bad menu. In, uh, do you have to FL manually Studio. mute your mic every time someone drives by? <laughs> no, it was, it's like a garbage truck they stopped by. He records in a fucking lemonade stand Aww. on his front yard. <laughs> <laughs> he tries to scrape some more money as he's doing the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my, my, he's my gonna... pet peeve is people that don't tip my lemonade stand. One day he's going to accidentally no. un- leave his mic unmuted and you're just going to hear, yeah, it's three for a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> That's cheap lemonade, <laughs> dude. Lemonade's super cheap if you make it yourself. Why do you think kids sell it for a dollar? I mean, it's not, yeah, it's not that hard to manufacture. <laughs> Lemons, <laughs> water, sugar, sugar Jackson. Like lemon. <laughs> think of the margin. <laughs> ja- you don't need to slaughter. You don't need to slaughter any memes to make it, Jackson. I'm sure you'll be fine. <laughs> Jackson's already brainstorming a business plan for a lemonade stand. Now he's gonna buy domains. <laughs> he for bought it. up all the stands in <laughs> Australia. <laughs> he bought lemonade.com. The official lemonade. He stand. bought all the shares. I'm, I'm gonna buy all your stock. What are you saying, mister? <laughs> Where's I'm, your dad? <laughs> ne- next week, Jackson shows up. Guys, I have the greatest announcement for the podcast. I bought a lemon plantation in South America. <laughs> we'll be rich. <laughs> Turns into it's the Pablo genius. Escobar of lemon. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see the results in six years. <laughs> Start smuggling you'll lemons have, and tires. In six years, you'll have made 30 cents profit. It was stupid of me not to buy the domain. <laughs> <laughs> lemonparty.com <laughs> yeah no. everyone who wants some fresh lemonade recipes lemonparty.com I was going to say my pet peeve is people like walking along sidewalks like standing too slow, side right? by side well too slow as well side oh, by God. side though when they're everyone like a- hate, everyone hates them too yeah when, especially when they fucking interlock their arms and they form this wall of china fat old yeah. lady asses all, all, they, are they, you talking about protesters so you, Kaya so you start fucking Taking your odds and calculating your chances of just uh, going by the side by using the actual road. Yeah. You, you actually take the chance of getting run over just to pass them. You, you know, the worst thing, though, is when they fucking stop and, like, look down at their phone. Like, both of them stop. Oh, my God. Yeah, when they just suddenly stop like goddamn cattle. Yeah. Like, <laughs> how are you not... Yeah, when they stop like cattle to check their phones. Smart cattle. Just like cattle. They could win a war. They could yeah, buy a lemonade race, stand. I don't know. But yeah, yeah that's, that. that's my pet peeve. Assembly. They'll that's the only thing I can think about. Goddamn tracks. What about you, Andrew? Charlie? What about you? Oh, I was going. Oh, yeah, Charlie. Uh, what about you? More time to think. Uh, mine is mine's a little bit broader, but it 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 usually gets specific. I hate when people just don't put in effort for very small things that would help other people. So, You're like a big example that Patreon happens page? a lot. Yeah, like Charlie not <laughs> tweeting it. Nah, uh, so, like, a big example that happens a lot is, um, I live on a, like, a normal-sized street for a, uh, a block, so basically it's three cars wide, probably, like, two and a half, so you can squeeze people by, uh, but there's, all the houses are right next to each other, so there's no, like, guest parking at all, so when people park in the street, if they don't, like, move their car over slightly so other people can get by, and they have to, like, wedge themselves between to pass on the street or shit like that. Like, just just small things where it's like, if you took an extra minute, you could help everyone else out around you. Mostly just driving shit, like people not pulling up or paying attention to lights or driving yeah. slow as fuck. I, I hate driving. It's the people. fucking worst. It's more like a point against people. Yeah. It is, but I don't know. It's 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 a broad thing, but it's like I don't know. People like have garbage, and rather than just walking to a garbage can and throwing it out, I just throw it on the ground. Or uh, if you go to the supermarket and people just leave shopping carts in parking spots when the fucking cart returns, like right there, like people not doing things that take an extra minute of their time to help everyone else. Uh, and their the their excuse is always me. that person's getting paid to do that. 
And, and even no, even then their excuse is I don't care. It's like, oh, well, yeah. fuck you. I care. Yeah, Jackson, you're really wrong about them yeah. try, even trying to rationalize it. Most people, I just I've heard that excuse so many times. Will tell you they don't give a fuck. Yeah, I mean, I don't give a fuck about a lot of stuff, but I try not to inconven- inconvenience people with not caring. Yeah, yeah. But most people don't, and it's the fucking worst. I hate I I hate that shit when I see that shit. That's what bugs me. Charlie, do you have yours? Yeah, have you said I mean, something, Charlie? I could only think of one on. thing, and it's just in the gym when like someone flexes in a mirror and strikes poses. Oh or yeah, really that loud. one too. I can't stand that. It's the most uncomfortable thing. When I used to go to University <laughs> of Tampa's gym, there was this one guy with uh, bleached blonde hair, and every time he finished a set. He would go into the mirror, and in the middle of the entire gym, like right next to the bench press, even if someone was on it, he would strike like a Superman pose or something, and then grunt really loud almost every time without fail. It was the most uncomfortable thing ever. Hated it. Charlie, I'm going to piggyback off that. People who, at the gym, go up to the weight rack and pull some like dumbbells off of it, and instead of moving out of the way, start exercising right in front of it. That's also really bad. I hate that to fucking uh. death because what I'll do is I do a lot of bench workouts, so I'll grab dumbbells and then walk to the bench, and I try to increase often. So it's like I'll, I'll grab those and do the workout, and then I look up and I can't put my weights back because Grunty McFuck is doing like curls right in front of where I have to go, and it's like I gotta wait for them, and I hate that shit more oh, than anything. I know. Yeah. And you can't even get their attention because they're le- wearing earbuds, and you're wearing earbuds, so it's it's like fuck it, I'll just wait three minutes for your big fucking ass to lift shit and then oh. my gym even has like it's not it's not a, a franchise gym it's a local gym so it's just kind of whatever but they duct taped areas of the floor and they have like 50 signs on the mirrors that say please exercise behind the duct tape because it's like get the fuck out of the way and yet people just while staring at the sign they're probably like reading it going i don't know what this says <laughs> but they're fucking they're curling shit right in front of the weights and it's the worst I know. they're fucking most of those people are just illiterate they know three words way creatine and isolate yeah, oh, yeah, it's the worst. And bro. It's the worst. And bro, of course. And that bro. goes without saying. Yeah. Maybe bioenergy. That just makes me wish we had Elgin on. Damn. Yeah. This would have been perfect. <laughs> that would have been a great yeah. topic with Elgin. We can ring it back up when he comes on and ask him about his musical sports. <laughs> 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 well, that was that was a decent topic. Yeah. Anything else on your sheet of paper, Andrew? <laughs> uh, I could tell my bad date story now. Tell your bad date story. Mm-hmm. Hit us with it. All right. So this bad date story I remembered, this was when I was in college. So the easiest way to describe where I lived was the Daytona, Orlando area, that kind of mm, central eastern Florida. And this was a woman I met online. And she was like, hey, I live at this part of Daytona and whatever, whatever. You know, why don't like we hang out? And do stuff. And this was like a 15 minute drive. And it was the first, one of the first in a while. I was like, I don't have to drive 45 minutes to get to Orlando or I don't have to do this or whatever. And I was like, so hey, I can just hang out and have fun. And I know exactly where she lives because we go to that area sometimes to hang out and stuff. So the, she is, I remember thinking she was okay in terms of attraction. Not amazing. Of course, I get there. She's like 20 pounds heavier than her photos. So we're off to a great start. But anyway, uh, moving on to the story. So first of all, her friend is there. Of course, I was not told about this. I was not informed. How many um, dates is this where your date brought her friend? That's like the fourth one you've told. It it happens more often than you think. And they usually give some bullshit excuse like, oh, I just want to feel safe with meeting someone online. Or, oh, I didn't think yeah. you would mind. And it's a huge red flag to me because it's like we're meeting in public. <laughs> bring a friend. Yeah, bring me next bring time. Bring a big fucking bird. Charlie, next time, no. if they if they say they're bringing a friend, I will drive to your house and bring you. I'm down. That'd no, be but fun. Charlie is sure. cute. That doesn't work. That like, so sweet. Yeah, he'll steal the women. Fat and <laughs> someone who's like fat and burly and hairy. So, Kaya, you want to come? <laughs> I'm not fat, you asshole. <laughs> that was a joke. I love you, Kaya. <laughs> um, so anyway, no, it, it happens because like they just pull some bullshit because they think that they're like they go, oh, meeting someone on the internet, and I just want to feel safe and I want to get their opinion of you, and it's like, okay, we're meeting in a public place. I'm also meeting someone from the internet. You're just being shitty. Fuck you. <clears throat> um, so anyway, she brought her friend. See the... Okay, sorry. Go ahead. No, it's okay. Um, so so she she was like not that attractive. I'll admit in her photos when she weighed less. But again, I I was super turned off because like I said, I hate getting catfish because I feel like I'm just being lied to, and that shit 
kills anything for me faster than anything. Her friend was taller than me, uh, like two hundred something pounds, and oh. looked like a barbarian woman passed down through eons. Was she the Ronda Rousey. She had a I don't know. She had a stone face and like thin blonde hair. And could probably kick my ass in a fight without even trying. Leslie yeah. Jones? <laughs> I just keep yes. guessing famous people. She Let's definitely just, brought a famous yeah. friend. I saw like you met a fucking orc queen. It sounds like she you met was. a WNBA no. player. She was she was orcish and massive and just overbearing and intimidating. Um <laughs> she, she brought her insane. hired muscle. <laughs> <laughs> just her she brought her drag. enforcer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she brought her uncle in a dress. Um but no, she she was as tall as I am, and I'm I'm a fairly tall person. She was like had this like thin blonde. Hair. She I, I don't want to say she was mannish, but but she was beefy. She was large. <laughs> she had an um, apple. <laughs> the she said, "Hey, up. I'm some." She introduced herself and went, "Hi, I'm Samantha." <laughs> um, so you anyway, Andrew, huh? Come and give me a hug. Um, and then she like ruptured my spine. Uh, but anyway, so I got there, and so immediately I this can't is already stop imagining Goro. Sorry, <laughs> Goro from Mortal Kombat shows up, yeah. and I've got my Johnny Cage sunglasses on. <laughs> She's Zangief from the Street Fighter movie. Okay, okay, so. So eventually, so this is already super fucking awkward because th- just a lot of reasons. I didn't know her friend would be there. Her friend, uh, uh, it's it's a first impression. She could have been very nice, and I'm I'm sure that before I met her, she was, and um, it, it, she was just. I'll, I'll admit, I was intimidated because it's like I didn't expect it. Uh, but anyway, I say hello. I'm already like counting this as a loss because I was once again catfished and just. They didn't live in the greatest of places, so I'm already like, okay, this is going to suck. So, we're hanging out in this cul-de-sac. One of those, like, roundabout cul-de-sacs with a little palm tree island in the middle. I know you guys have never seen a palm tree, but uh, basically it's just it's it's just a cul-de-sac, but in the middle there's, like, a concrete mm. loop filled with, like, shrubbery and trees and shit. Is this going to be an important hang- plot point, this yeah. cul-de-sac <laughs> and the palm tree? Is this something <laughs> Actually, we need to Charlie, it is. On. Because two minutes into talking, what emerged from said island was a cat. That'll do and, it. And, um, Ooh. I was like, oh, it's a cat. And <laughs> there I, you I, go, Charlie. I, Take yeah, that. Comes full fl- circle. But anyway, I, 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 I knelt down to, like, play with the cat because I was like, hey, kitty. And the cat was super friendly. And the two girls were like, yeah, that's the neighborhood cat. He doesn't really have a name, but he's friendly to everyone. And I was like, oh, sweet. So I'm petting the cat. And I'm noticing as we're talking while I'm petting this cat, I'm having more fun just playing with the cat than I am talking with them. Because every conversation that comes out of their mouths, despite being my age, is high school gossip type stuff. So what does so this talking... date consist of just standing outside of their house in their neighborhood talking while you play with <laughs> Oh, I'll get to I'll get no, I'll get Why to that. Just I'll get standing to that. in the cold sex. <laughs> I'll get I'll get to that. I'll get to that. I'll get to that. So so we're just talking and introducing ourselves and I'm playing with the cat and everything they're talking about is like people I've never heard of and like rumors about shit I just don't care about nor ever want to get invested in. Every every topic that they're like flittering back and forth between with each other, I'm just like, "Uh-huh. Oh, yeah." Oh, that's cool. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh. Uh-huh. And, like, I, I just distinctly remember, and it's what helped me remember this story, I, the entire night, had more fun playing with this cat than I did with any <laughs> any remote thing with them. So, uh, after we get a bit of talking or whatever, they kind of, like, turn in their own, like, little whisper secret corner. Like, that whole, like, oh, we're going to talk to each other now, whatever. And they're trying to play it coyly. But it's very obvious they're, like, discussing that the girl I came to meet thinks I'm attractive and what they want to do about that. <laughs> but it's very just, it's very just <laughs> awkward and obvious. <laughs> and I'm just like standing there like, fiction. all right. Yeah, it really does sound <laughs> like a fan fiction. <laughs> they thought I, was I, I wish Andrew's it were good. just reading the Snapchat message he got this morning. <laughs> no, I wish, I wish it were good. I wish it had a good ending. Um, so anyway, it's super awkward. And they're like... It's it's obviously like this discussion is causing like, this like glacial rift between them, 
But whatever, we move on past it, and they start talking to me. What do you again. mean a glacial rift? Like did the I'll, other girl I'll, disagree? No, <laughs> yeah. ugly man. No. Sort of. I'll, I'll wanna... get to the. I'll get to it. That was the polarizing opinion here. I'll get to that. It really comes up. It, trust me, it, it, it makes a big, bigger impact <laughs> if I keep, save what it meant. Teasing so much. Yeah, it's, because it's the it's ending to really this story is ending. great. All this the ending, foreshadowing. So so eventually we go. Let's do something. And I'm like, what do you guys typically do? Do you do, like you know we said we would hang out and like we didn't really talk about it and I, I didn't make concrete plans because I was like they live like 15 20 minutes away so it's not even a big deal I could just leave so they were like they were like oh well we just hang out and I'm like great you're a person who just says you hang out but never actually does anything you're my favorite awesome so eventually they say well we could go on an urban safari and I go what and they go an urban safari and I'm like what's that and they're like we go to like ghetto areas or really like like seedy areas and just look around <laughs> <laughs> and, and the sad part of that is it once we get into that first of all i'm the only one with the car so obviously i'm driving us around these ghettos <laughs> second of all i realize that they mean the area's five minutes from walking distance of where they live so, which is a really high class and high strung profiling of their area and so basically we drove around the ghetto which consisted of just looking at shitty buildings um, and I thought it was the absolute worst thing in the world. So I, I had shown up pretty late cause they were up late and I was like, whatever. So it's, it was like 11 o'clock or something at this point. So I'm like, Hey, look, I'm actually hungry. Can we maybe go to like IHOP or something? Cause I don't know, just to do something. And it was just cause like I was fucking bored out of my mind. So they go, yeah, let, let, there's actually an IHOP like right down the street. Let's go there. So I drive them to IHOP. We get in, we uh, get a table. We sit at said table, and then they're sitting next to each other across from me. I'm sitting at the table. I'm playing on my phone and also texting my friends like, holy shit, this sucks. I'm bored. This is garbage. Charlie, I think this was before I met you, so... Um, but anyway... <clears throat> what was that side note about? You didn't that, get why memory. I didn't text you. You, oh. you got super uppity last time. Oh, okay. Fair I forgot. It's yeah. been like three weeks. Yeah. Um, so anyway... While this is happening, and, like, I'm ordering my food and looking at the menu and all that, they're exchanging these, like, side glances to another table in the restaurant filled with these, like, four kids. Like, I think it was two guys and two girls that also look about our age. And they're, like, muttering stuff to each other. And I, I literally just, like, I've had enough of, like, the child shit, the childishness. So I just literally go, what? What are you guys doing? What is happening? And they're like, oh, that's... I don't remember the actual names they said, but they're like, that's John and Stacy at that table. We're, we don't like them very much. And I'm like, oh, yeah? And they're like, yeah, they, they, they're, they're, so, they're so preppy. They're such preps. They're, they're just, they're too preppy. And I'm like, oh, okay. What does that even mean? Yeah. I don't know. I'm not up on the lingo. Charlie, you're they, up on the lingo. What's preppy mean? It means it's lit, fam. Five-year-old. Yeah, <laughs> it's the current version of their lit. Um... So basically uh, what I found out like is these two girls lived in their high school town, never went to college, and just still held on to these obsessive high school grudges that they held in classes and just all day spent all day bullshitting about people they went to high school with. So they were like the social rejects and they'd be like, oh, they're just preps. They're just jocks and and you know yep. fucking like popular kids and oh they're so yeah, shitty the job yeah uh they're so like shallow and fake and literally the whole time i'm at ihop i'm eating this like philly cheesesteak that i ordered just idly barely saying anything while they're just like flittering to each other like oh they fuck he's i bet he like fucked her under the table he's so fucking <laughs> preppy and fuck you know so like it was it was like a seventh grade like a seventh grader it was like i was at the oh, lunch yeah. table in high school it was insane um and just the whole time, they're like glancing at them, like, "Oh, I can't believe they're here. Oh, we're here. Oh, it's so so awkward. I'm so..." And they say to me like four different times, "I'm sorry. This is so awkward. I'm so sorry." I'm like, "No, I don't know these. I don't know these fucking people. I feel great. What's wrong with you?" <laughs> um, I was actually tempted to get up and walk over and be like, "Hey, how's it going?" <laughs> um, I'm with you guys now. I I remembered I had to drive them home, so I didn't want to do you that. If you didn't I was have just to drive them, should have fucking left them. Yeah. Yeah. I probably should have, but I'm I try to be a nice guy. I mean, the fu if I weren't if I weren't nice <laughs> about it, I would have left as soon as I realized I was catfished. But I mean, I tried. I don't know. I like to be nice. So 
So we finish at IHOP and we're driving back and there's a distinct like awkward silence in the car from them from me because I put my music on and I'm like, all right, well, let's get out of this as much, you know, as nicely as I can. And they're both of them are just like occasionally whispering, but like nothing is saying. So we get back to the cul-de-sac. I park. The cat comes back. So I'm already having a great time. So I'm playing with the cat. And eventually they start like having a tiff and I'm not paying attention to them anymore. I'm just kind of bewildered. And the best friend storms off into their house and the other girl kind of like walks away from me and like checks her phone and whatever. And then the best friend comes back. Now, what had happened was the insider trading conversation they were having was the girl I came to see from OkCupid or dating site or whatever was trying to fuck me. But her best friend was like, don't be slutty like that. Don't be... What am I going to do? If you fuck him, I don't know where to go or what to do. That's so slutty of you. So they were, like, having this whole argument because the girl's like, uh, you know, but I want to, but he's cute. Like, she was just trying to get some ass. She didn't what anime I did was. you pull the story from, Andrew? Yeah, this <laughs> this, is, this seems Charlie. so unbelievable. <laughs> the girl was a slag monster. I'm not trying to boast about myself. If Jabba the Hutt asked to suck your dick, would you be proud of it? Well, I also wouldn't go into like this detail. Oh, Jabba, I just want to suck his dick so hard. He's Charlie, like you got to stop interrupting cook. me because there's a reason I brought this detail up. All right, okay. oh, you were right because about this. There's, there's a reason okay. you brought Jabba the Hutt up. The the <laughs> phrase that I specifically remember her saying, and it was them reaching a compromise, was. Eventually, I found out, after even more of them fighting, was she said, Okay, look, I I want to fuck you, but I shouldn't, and my friend's telling me not to because I have, like, sores in that area. Ooh. Uh, and yeah, then uh. she said, But my mouth is available to everyone. That's so sweet of her. Oh, so yeah. then they both fucked you, right, Andrew? And then you woke up. No. I so I I tried my best to get the gears in my head turning because this was at the phrase where I didn't have that much dating experience so I was kind of awkward myself and trying to like figure a way out of this that made sense rather than just going by so eventually what I was like is I I was like I have my out I have my out it's it's the friend so I went you should listen to your friend you shouldn't do this. You know, it, maybe we could hang out a bit more and go from there, but, you know, she might have a point. You might not want to do this right now. You know, I, I, I don't know if I would feel comfortable with that. It, I just, I, oh, oh, fuck, I didn't want to. So eventually, she's, like, super upset because she's like, I want to, I know, but... Uh, and her friend is all, like, annoyed because she's like, oh, if she fucks him, what am I going to do? Uh, and eventually, I'm like, hey, I played with a cat and I had fun. So... Uh, eventually, I was like, hey, I gotta go. I Here's a convenient excuse. I don't remember what I said. Um, so, I was like, yeah, tell, take care of that cat for me. I love him. And then I left. And that was my date. Yeah. Wow. But I, I distinctly remember her, her saying the specific phrase, like, I, I'm not gonna fuck you, but I will say my mouth is available to everyone. Do you have a number? Yeah, those no? sores are probably healed by now. <laughs> <laughs> oh god uh, I gotta break him in That was so weird and disgusting And Suspect I I, it, it was 100% yeah. true I'm I mean I, I'm not proud of it I'm not trying to say it as a boasting story It was incredibly awkward I myself was su super awkward in it But That did happen The it story, the story boiled down to this, this chick wanted to have sex with me And I rejected her yeah, that was no. like a 20-minute story. <laughs> no, not even that. It boiled down to this chick wanted to really have sex with me, but her friend was too jealous to let her. <laughs> I mean, I thought there were more details like the IHOP that were... And <laughs> the <really> island. <laughs> <laughs> and the, and the cat. I don't Andrew, know. Andrew, did you know a study just yesterday Yeah. that I read about uh, apparently found that uh, online dating causes people to lower their standards? I'm not like surprised. That? I am yeah. not surprised. And the reason I think that's true is they get a broader picture of their <laughs> available options. Because if you follow media and expectations, you think people are hotter than they are. And then you go online guess, and you go, see, this is my actual jet that's dating pool. something I don't get about online dating, which I don't mm -hmm. do it, but I don't get the whole deal of catfishing. 
because usually people understand the concept of uh, under promising and over delivering. I, I mean, so people I are really fucking liars, why. dude. Yeah, but I don't get why they would not use this to their advantage. If I was online dating, I would make myself look worse. Yep. And sound worse. So then, if someone finally, I know that would lower my chances of even being contacted by anyone. But if someone did contact me, the moment we meet up, I would look so much better. See, I, n- I never I, thought I would, of that actually. Deliver. I, would, I so, never thought of that. I, I, I just don't. It's see common that. sense. You might have yeah, just cornered the market. No, catfishing is the dumbest shit. I don't understand it either. Because they're they're fucking liars, and they think that like. So what they want to do is they want to entice you with the fr- with the front view, like the photos and the profile, and whatever. But then they hope that by talking to them, you're like hooked or smitten or any of that. I don't even think that because we all pick. What I do get is that, you know, if you're on Twitter, you pick a flattering picture of yourself or a profile or whatever, mm-hmm. or, or in your social media, like your Facebook. So I think when they catfish, they probably really do believe that they look like that still. Mm-hmm. Like, if you have a picture of yourself from fucking high school where you are still 50 pounds lighter, she actually might believe that's still how hot she looks, mm. even though she ate herself into Jabba the Hutt <laughs> and is about to meet Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> this will show up. Catfishing. Em. Might be something subliminal, maybe. I don't know. It's I, I just cannot get into the mindset of, yes, I'm going to purposefully do this. I'm going well, to it, deceive someone I'm going to meet in five minutes anyway. Well, it usually comes from the idea of just lying in general. It's it's You don't lie because, like, you lie because you think you can either get away with it or construct the truth within the time before they find out. So with the catfishing, it's like, I can present this shitty image, and then hopefully by the time we do meet or whatever... They'll like me enough that it doesn't matter, or they'll forget what I looked like on my profile I guess, or shit. Yeah, so well, I'll yeah, have lost fifty pounds. They just don't think. <laughs> oh, this diet will have kicked in. <laughs> <laughs> I'll eat protein only for two days before I meet him. I mean, we can't all look like we can't all look like Charlie and just have it be impossible for us to catfish anyone. Oh, that was sweet. Yeah, you're a nice guy. See, and that. Yeah. But see, I see. I see why girls always flock to you on the OK Cupids. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I, he's a charmer. I feel like you're the one reaching out to them too. Nah. <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll openly admit, physically, I'm not the most attractive person, and I'm super goofy. But I like to think that I'm oh, genuinely right. nice enough to people. I don't know. I totally offer you my mouth available to you. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you on OK Cupid. <laughs> You should put that as your pro- the top of your bio. My mouth is available to everyone. <laughs> but not anything below that. There's source. <laughs> oh, it's the $70 no. Patreon tier, guys. <laughs> Only $70? Guys, What's not. the limit on people? No no limit? Because yeah, it's no. everyone. <laughs> no, for real, go on our Patreon. All right, that's, that's a topic. What do you Journal think your... Uh, fucking... <laughs> what do you think your like dream career would be if you could have any job or do anything for the rest of your life what do you honestly right now think you would want to do patreon uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> patreon <laughs> patron I mean yeah just be this just make podcasts yeah. and nice content for all the cool and handsome kids out there and the beautiful ladies <laughs> no souls then <laughs> No, yeah, so I'm I'm the same. I'm, I'd just like to edit videos and make content. That'd be good. Are you serious, though? Forever? For the rest of your life? <laughs> yes. Andrew's already thinking of a way out of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Exit plan. Alex, take over for me. What about you, Andrew? What would you like to Alex? Alex? <laughs> Did anyone else just hear Alex? Man, that was a good one. Yeah. It would be a shame if you lost your recording. I'm I'm talking outside of like I'm talking like like actual any realm of possibilities like astronaut or like shit like that like you can do anything what do you think you Unrelated would really to want to money, accomplish? Do you mean if we did not have the money issue like if yeah something if, you would even let, do for yeah free? no let's say let's say someone came up to you some eccentric okay. billionaire and went I'm going to pay you, you mean ten Charlie? million dollars a year to do whatever you want but the thi- <laughs> but the thing is okay. you cannot change careers what would you do. You know those, like, videos of, oh, man, in the fa- fastest car on Earth, and all he does is drive on a desert and just he drives super fast? I'd do that. So you'd be a, like a fast. stunt, like a test driver or a stunt driver or something? I guess, yeah. I don't, I don't fucking know what they're called. That would be fun. I'd be a, a centrifuge yeah. tester. I mean, a I test know. driver is an actual job. They that have to hire people who I know how to drive those cars. 
I would be a tester of extreme shit, like new roller coasters and stuff. <laughs> You're cars. making up your own job at this point. <laughs> Whatever, man. <laughs> if I have $10 million a year, I can. <laughs> <laughs> I like that idea. Just fucking stick your hands in cool. blenders to make sure they go really fast. That is kind of cool. Oh, no, no. Actually. I mean, like, safe shit. They <laughs> cover him in shape. Like, cover him in, in Kevlar and shoot him to test guns. <laughs> I, I don't. I, okay, let's say I'll just review them, not test them. <laughs> oh. So you'd be, a, you'd, you'd be a critic. You'd be a professional critic. Wait, the, the, yeah, the, like, oh, this this new super fast light speed car is yeah, okay. it's pretty good. There, there's a topic I, I wanted to bring up on the podcast that just reminded me of reviewing go shit. For it. I was yeah, talking, I was talking to Kaya. I'd really want to be like a professional French fry reviewer, where I'd go mm-hmm. into like shit yeah. holes and dress in a lab coat and order like a pair, like some French fries, put like a black light over them, come up with some pseudo sciences, and just give them a really nice review. Why French fries? I think there's a guy who does that on YouTube. Who do you remember, Charlie? He he gets in, like in a suit and he eats takeout. Yeah, the the, yeah. the the kid that does chicken, right? Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. there's yeah. a famous. Uh, Sorry, but if you if you're listening, we would like like to have you on. That would be yeah. Cool. There's a uh, there's a famous like GIF of him that goes around the internet of him in a like full tux eating Domino's GIF. and he gives like a thumbs GIF. up. I switch it to piss people off, Kai. I got you. Um, okay. But yeah, <laughs> you he's, fell like, for his trap. And he eats either uh-huh. a bite of, like, DiGiorno or Domino's or something and gives, like, a thumbs up. That guy, right? Y- yeah, it's, I, it's... He's the only one know. that does it right now. That, I think it's really like clever. Old, he, that sounds like old food reviews. No, he, he's no but he does... One, he reviews he does. shitty food in, like, a classy way. Yeah, well, it's not shitty yeah, food. He, it's like, just the chicken. He dresses chicken. up like Hannibal Lecter, but he eats, eats a fucking mech chicken or something. Yeah. Pretty, pretty neat idea. Yeah. I mean, he's my inspiration for wanting to be a French fry reviewer. But you need to take like a whole a whole I, science kit there and yeah. like mix fluids and beakers. Charlie and, like, and I were talking about how if we all the four of us could one day move together with the Patreon money. If you mean the when podcast, yeah, when? Yeah, when? last time I checked, we're already up stupid. to twenty thousand a month. No, no, we're not. Woo! We're at like a hundred dollars a minute. Uh, That'd be insane. <laughs> I know. We could stop. <laughs> We could start these new series, like go into antique shops and start haggling until we get thrown out, or go to restaurants and review all the nonsensical, frivolous nonsense. Like I would review the bread they bring you beforehand if it's stale or not, and then Andrew could review you know? the food, food cart has like squeaky wheels or something. <laughs> I don't know, dude. That's no, Kaya, difficult. you actually just reminded me. I was thinking of doing a video on it or some kind of series where, like, yeah, I go to a restaurant and I give everything a number out of 10 like curtain six waitress four appetizer two like every single thing in the experience gets a rating <laughs> like rain man but just not even explained like just <laughs> just rapid fire They're like who's this lunatic he's just spatting out numbers <laughs> they, they drop off my steak nine <laughs> <laughs> but it all makes sense in some sort of way. He just has to reveal it, and everyone just realizes he's a genius. <laughs> oh, shit. Then they still keep oh, maybe he's on the red is a nine. <laughs> <laughs> he's, 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 gaming, he's gaming the system. Get him out. Oh, shit. <laughs> he's counting the garlic bread. <laughs> <laughs> Getting the best value. Every, every stick gets a different rating. Bread one, two, bread two, <laughs> four. <laughs> I I would absolutely be down for that. I I think we could do something with that. I think that'd be really funny. Nobody's still our idea. We'll, we'll get there. Yeah, in 10 don't years. don't take an internet. <laughs> don't. We're trusting you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Until we uh, get hit that goal on patreoncom slash the official podcast. <laughs> <laughs> no one steal it. <laughs> Yeah, don't steal money from our Patreon either. If anything, put it, put it back. Put it in. Yeah, don't put hack it. Back. That's not nice. Don't hack it. Well, fuck. No, <laughs> now they're actually gonna hack it. <laughs> well, I, I don't just, know why that stumped you. I, yeah. I, I just can't imagine a man walking into a restaurant and they're like, Hi, welcome to Chili's. Would you like a table? And he's like, Service! Eight! <laughs> <laughs> Greeting one. Greeting one! <laughs> I mean, isn't that what food critics do, though? Yeah. Just stares at her blindly. Hostess! Kind of three. Oh, that pissed me off so much yesterday, or maybe the, the day before. Did you guys see the new, quote, news about Trump? 
and what he ate. I like to oh, think he's a had their fucking panties in a bunch because he had the audacity to eat a steak the way he wanted to. The what, steak with ketchup. Steak with ketchup. He ate a steak oh, so well done with ketchup. Well done with ketchup. The audacity, fuck, right? Dude. He should be shot, I guess. Holy shit. Eat Just food however you want. Is food is food. Do yeah, see, Andrew, but you're not a fucking douchebag who gets high on his own farts. Uh, well, let's, you know, no, let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> Good point. Yeah. I mean, I eat to live, don't live to eat. shit. What sort of a disgusting, narcissistic asshole do you have to be to think that is actually Kaya, news and get upset about Kaya, it? Kaya, after he took a bite, did he go, STEAK ate? I don't... You stumped, probably, you stumped I mean, him. Probably, he is sort of a old, he's an idiot, but... <laughs> he probably was like, ah, sad. <laughs> yeah. Fake steak. Sad. This, Very sad. This, this steak tastes Chinese. No, no, okay, here, I have the article. Listen to how this douchebag wrote this. President Trump orders his steak well done with ketchup. What asshole goes out to dinner at one of the nation's cap... Capital's most acclaimed steakhouses orders a 30 day dry aged New York strip, then asks the chef to cook it well done. And if that's not enough, he eats it with ketchup like a five year old. Ugh. Is that actually what he, this like, person verbatim needs to be wrote? Hung. That is where he wrote Buzzfeed? his name is Kevin Pang. Kevin, you are a fucking douchebag. I hate, I hope everything bad that can happen to a person happens to you. Well, now we have you to You asshole, that out, you should buddy. not exist. Fuck you. How is that journalism? You how is that really it shows? isn't. It isn't. Jackson, this is this is this is like why I hate Hollywood and the press because I cannot decide who which one of them loves their own farts more. It's me. I cannot decide. I cannot settle on it. <laughs> it's just me. No, yeah, Charlie, real, have Charlie, you had you... any stinkers lately? <laughs> I've had some real yucky ones. Mm. Yeah. Oh god, protein. Ever since yes, I started do, drinking do, protein. Do you shakes. fart in but do you shit and fart into a septic tank and then hook it up with a hose to your mouth so you can breathe it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that sounds like, like a Patreon Hollywood incentive. Like actors do. <laughs> yeah. Uh, $200,000, Kaya hooks himself to the shit-tron. <laughs> the shit-tron? Uh, I'm so tired uh, of Hollywood being all up in our business, guys. I fucking hate the media. They just won't leave us alone. Fuck, fuck the media. Fuck you guys in the media. Don't write anything about us. We don't want it. Really, don't say anything about us in the news. Fuck we you. Didn't do anything? Yeah, I like. I fucking eat my chips with. Uh, I don't know. Ketchup. Ketchup. How about hey. that? I dare you to I eat not make French. an article. I eat fries. What a peasant am I? I actually like French fries. The lowliest of all foods. You know, I'm a. Whoa. I'm a Whoa. dirty low life never winner. Dude, you know, Jesus I Christ. Eat food that the Kai, losers you're eat. You're spiraling down a rabbit Jeez. hole that none of us ever want to see. Jesus, Kai. Don't <laughs> yeah, talk about I, fries like that. I get offended. Yeah. I, dude, I mean, come on. Ugh. Who does that? Ew. It's true. Eating like a commoner? I couldn't imagine. Oh god, I hate people. People are such fucking pieces of shit. <laughs> <laughs> that finally concludes Kaya's I like everything corner. <laughs> yeah, Took us a while to get there. Corner. Oh my god. <laughs> this is why I don't give my corners out to just anyone. <laughs> a rigorous Jackson, process. It was the stuff I Jackson, like corner and I concluded. you have so many concluded. fucking corners you formed a circle. Thanks, everyone, for watching this episode of the official podcast. If you'd like to support us, we've now got a Patreon. All money is split evenly across all four hosts. And, well, there's a lot of information on the Patreon and Charlie's YouTube channel, so go check that out. We'd really appreciate any support. It's not, it's not uh, like, we're not trying to force you guys into into donating anything i guess the like, show is terrible. still free and it will always yes, come out you. weekly regardless of the yes, patreon that's the big point we appreciate any support but hey that yeah, you guys if you don't us. donate enough something might just happen <laughs> you, be a shame. shut the fuck up <laughs> uh so yeah go 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 check that out we've also we're also on soundcloud itunes Kai has got his play. bottle of and pills in his hand if the, if the money isn't met he's just gonna it, down it, it just says ten thousand dollars on it <laughs> You promised. <laughs> Her prompts. <laughs> all, all links will be in the description. Yeah. Charlie, do Those you have any last minute up. comments? No. Okay. <laughs> okay. Fuck you. <laughs> uh, yeah, alright, so thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Alright, thanks. Goodbye, Kaya. See ya. Huh? What? Say goodbye. <laughs> Just. Goodbye. I was see reading ya. Reddit. So, bye. Alright, fucking hell. <laughs>